welcome back class today we will study the price elasticity of demand and its various methods to calculate the price elasticity of demand in the previous class i've told you what is your price elasticity of demand let's revise it what is the price elasticity of demand this tells you how much your quantity demanded have changed due to the change in price right so i've told you the three methods to understand the price elasticity of demand the Number one, total expenditure method. Number two, percentage or proportionate method. Number three is your geometric. point or arc method so in this class we will study about the total expenditure method so now what is total expenditure method this was given by professor marshall you know what total expenditure is how much you spend is your total expenditure according to the, this method one finds out how much and in what direction total expenditure changes as a result of change in the price of a commodity see according to this method what does we see how much or in which direction the total expenditure have changed due to change in price there are th three ways to calculate this number 1 if your price increases your total expenditure does not change or you say it remains the same in this case your elasticity of demand see ed is how you donate denote your elasticity of demand right this is how you denote your elasticity of demand with e and small d under it elasticity of demand is unitary your elasticity of demand is unitary Your unitary word means is equal to one. The second point we have: if we fall in the price of a commodity, total expenditure increases, and with the rise in its price, total expenditure decreases. What does this mean? Is if your price has increased, your total the effect on the total expenditure is that it decreases. or you say your price of a commodity has decreased and your total expenditure have increased in this case your elasticity of demand is greater than unitary right third one is with the like the price and the total expenditure goes in the same direction there is a same change in both of them if your price increases your total expenditure also increases if your price decreases your total expenditure also decreases in this case 
your elasticity of demand is less than 1 which means your ed is less than unit tree this is how you calculate your elasticity of demand in the case of total expenditure method now let's understand this through this table how does this work see this is your price this is your quantity demand and this is your total expenditure now let's see the effect of change of price on total expenditure it's the same right with the fall in the price the total expenditure increases inverse relationship and here it is a positive relationship so as we told you if there is no change on the total expenditure your elasticity of demand is equal to 1. When there is inverse relationship, your elasticity of demand is greater than unit tree. And if there is positive relationship, your elasticity of demand is less than unit tree. Let's plot this on the graph now. This is your graph. Let's take this graph. your x-axis, your y-axis, your price and here you want to see the relationship between the price and total expenditure so we will write here the total expenditure on x-axis see let's see at price initial price P okay your total expenditure was this. Now, with the increase in the price, let's say it goes to P to M, your total expenditure increases. See, the price, your total expenditure was here. Your price increased, your total expenditure came here. This is your expenditure curve. Right? Draw this line. This is your expenditure curve. There is a positive relationship. Your price is increasing, your expenditure is also increasing. So at this point, this ED is less than one this is point a this is point b now let's say your price comes here your price increases to let's say n but your total expenditure remains the same there's no change in your total expenditure your total expenditure was here this is again here there's no change in your total expenditure at this point of time, your elasticity of demand is equal to 1. Let's say with the increase from now, let's say your price had, have gone to N to R. And your price has increased and here your total expenditure was at the point of N. From N price, it has gone to R price, and your total expenditure has reduced, let's say here, right? So, this is your total expenditure curve. There is an inverse relationship, your total expenditure has reduced when your price increases, so this is the elasticity of demand greater than 1. So this is how you will plot your total expenditure graph while making uh, while doing this total expenditure question. So I hope you all have understood this. Please do watch our videos, like our scholar learning videos and keep learning. Thanks.